so guys and welcome back to my channel uh, today you find me on a very warm late spring early summer's evening and uh, yeah I'm attempting to do my uh, Pentax photo battle challenge so yeah this video uh, should have happened a couple of weeks ago I um, went down to Stonehenge and I was hoping to capture some uh, Milky Way astrophotography over the uh, over the stones but uh, it never quite happened. The uh, weather forecasts for the whole of that week predicted clear skies from Monday to Friday. And, uh, and on the evening of uh, Friday, I went down and yeah, turned up and the place was a uh, water wall cloud. So uh, I really didn't get the, uh, the image or the, uh, the video content I wanted for my uh, little YouTube photo battle still. I have a few days left and uh, yeah we're getting quite close now to the end of the month so this is my second attempt at uh, doing the Pentax YouTube photo battle and uh, I'm out in rural Worcestershire oh, actually I'm on the other side of the Malvern Hills um, but it's rural enough uh, I'm intending today to make my way up to uh, East North Obelisk it has a really nice view to the uh, southeast southwest um, so, as you can probably guess, my challenge or my uh, video today is going to be on astrophotography with the Pentax K1. Yeah, there's a bit of a, a trek to get to this location and um, I've got a bit of a setting up to do from composition wise, getting all of the, uh, the camera set up, um, getting my angles right and my composition. So um, I really needed to make use of the, uh, the daylight hours to get that all done. and. Um, once that is done, I can then relax a little bit, uh, wait for nightfall, and yeah, get my uh, get my astrophotography shot. I'm really looking forward to it. So, folks, uh, dear me, finally made my way to the top of the hill. I'm absolutely exhausted, but uh, I forgot how uh, how high this hill actually is, and just how unfit I am. Anyway, the uh, the weather conditions. So, as you can see by the, uh, the sunlight which keeps catching my face. In fact, I'm wearing sunglasses. It's uh, a lovely bright evening. Sky is, uh, yeah, not looking too bad. There's a bit of high level cloud, which is uh, wasn't predicted, but there's still a few hours yet before we get to uh, the start of the Milky Way. So uh, let's have a look what we've got in the bag for tonight's astrophotography. So I've got my trusty Pentax K1, um, currently using a 21 millimeter uh, limited edition lens. Now I've used this a few times for astrophotography um, and it produces some nice results, um, but I'm tempted actually tonight um, to use my trusty uh, Samyang 24 millimeter uh, use this actually a lot more for astrophotography and I've got a bit more trust in this this lens but I suppose I can always try one or the other or both of them and see how we get on so that's my lens for choice um, composition wise it'll be against the, the obelisk um, if I decide to uh, do some um, star tracking well I've got the astro tracer function in the Pentax K1 as standard which uh, is very very useful but I've also brought with me a dedicated star tracker which is the Move, Shoot, Move Star Tracker. Um, again, a nice little compact unit for wide angle landscape, astro landscapes, and um, works really, really well. Um, but we shall see. Uh, so that's the, the main camera gear. I think uh, I may also do a little bit of time-lapse work. And um, if I'm going to do that, um, I've got a 22 millimeter F2 lens um, for my Canon M50. 
um, but I've also got a Sigma uh, 16 millimeter 1.4 lens which is currently filming me now um, so that will be my time-lapse camera for the the stars tonight um, other than that I suppose uh, let's have a quick look at the time it's now ooh, uh, 20 past nine so the galactic core should um, rise around about um, half, around about 12 half 12 uh, then it'd be a case then of um, capturing a few frames of that um, to uh, make my final composition which will be the, uh, the obelisk and the Milky Way in the background and that will be my entry for the Pentax after dark photo battle. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Look what that woolly wack has done to my camera. That's a brand new lens as well, 300 quid. I only had it a few days. Fucking sheep. Whilst I was doing a quick time lapse of the uh, sun setting, uh, much to my disappointment, a black sheep, um, which was supposed to be lucky, uh, walked into my tripod, knocked over my video camera, and smashed the uh, Sigma 16mm 1.4 lens so uh, it's in pieces uh, it's a write-off I ain't gonna be able to use it I'm gonna have to send it back to Sigma see if they can fix it for a cost uh, and to add salt into the wounds it was uh, pretty much brand new only had it uh, a few weeks and not really ever used it so uh, very disappointing on that so this uh, little adventure trying to do the, uh, the Pentax YouTube challenge after dark is now cost me at least 300 quid. <sighs> Not too impressed by that. Um, still, it is what it is, I can't change it. Um, and I can do about it now. So thankfully I have a backup lens, which I'm currently using. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, this little 22 millimeter uh, F2 lens will do a good enough job on the uh, Milky Way to get a time-lapse um, is my intention with that. And uh, yeah, hopefully that will come out good. I've got a shoot off a few frames now of my primary composition which is the obelisk and yes yeah, start uh, capturing some frames in the milky way uh, do some stacks of that in post processing and ultimately produce my final image will be my submission for the pentax youtube photo battle after dark challenge 